world's most popular drink. Centuries ago, it fueled the Industrial Revolution. And today, commuters keep their cup holders locked and loaded with lattes. Coffee is a comfort to millions and a necessity to many more. Coffee houses have brewed creativity and inspiration since the first cafe opened in Constantinople. So what's your name? Flannery. And how old are you? I'm 18. Right, could you tell us your name? Anjali. And how old are you? I'm 17. So what's your name? Ian. And how old are you? 34. All right. Cheyenne. All right, so what's your name? My name is Vaisha. And how old are you? I'm 17. Okay, so how many years have you been drinking coffee? Um, Maybe like around two. My plan before college is to switch to green tea for like a month. And it's gonna kill me, but once I get to college, I wanna be able to like drink just one shot of espresso and get a good, like, energized, get energized from that, you know? Um, because right now, I like don't get that really buzzed feeling. Don't drink alcohol, it's from coffee. <laughs> and how many years would you say have you been drinking coffee regularly? And what are some top spots that you like to get coffee at in the area? Um, just Starbucks. Starbucks and home. Yeah. Okay, and what are some of your top coffee shops to go to? Ooh, I mean, I go to Black Rock a lot because it's really close by, but if I want like a quality coffee, I'll go to either Press or Pizzotto. All right, and how many years have you been drinking coffee regularly? Mm, 15 or 16. So, what are your top favorite spots to get coffee at? I usually don't drink coffee from outside places. I only make them my own. And occasionally I drink two cups per day, just, just when necessary, just to keep me awake. <laughs> but like, I don't get that buzz feeling, that like, woo, it's time to go feeling from like two shots of espresso. It literally takes like six cups of coffee to get there. And what's your go-to order? Um, a t or a small iced coffee with a little bit of 2% milk and two pumps of um, classic syrup. Okay, sounds good. Um, how often do you make your own coffee at home? Um, probably like five out of seven days a week. So I don't sleep. So then how do you make your own coffee? What kind of coffee do you make? Uh, I, like Nestle or, fr or Froger, uh, uh, Froger, and like I just take like, a cup up, take sink water from directly from the sink, put in a microwave from uh, two to uh, two two minutes and thirty seconds, and put put to one or two cups up from um, the from the Nestle or the Folger or coffee. Stir it or stir it with a spoon to make sure there's no uh, black liquid on the bottom black liquid deposits on the bottom um, just to make sure just to get the extra out and uh, and if I need to I couldn't put uh, two cups of sugar in it, uh, into it and stir it and I usually could drink it uh, like without need of milk or, or some milk but I usually just use the milk just to make it uh, uh, cool enough just for me to drink but not like cold enough that it's just effectively like waste of caffeine away um, what's your go-to order? Caramel fraps. And how often do you make your own coffee? Um, I used to do it every day, but like now it's just like whenever. And what are your top spots to get coffee in the local Phoenix area? Herbo, um, Dutch Bros, and wherever I got coffee this morning, Bosa. And what's your go-to order? Black coffee, red eye, actually. Mm -hmm. And how often do you make your own coffee at home? 
maybe once or twice a week. And how many years would you say have you been drinking coffee? Um, oh my god, many. I think probably five years. <laughs> and what would you say are your top spots to get coffee in the Phoenix area? Um, there's this place by my house called Seattle Espresso. I admittedly go to Starbucks a lot because it's cheap and it's easy. It's not cheap, but it's easy because they have a drive through um, But I go, I go everywhere. I go to Press, I go to Pesoto, um, Black Rock. Okay. And what's your go-to order? Um, my go-to order is usually either cappuccino or just like a straight up coffee, black, no sugar, because I'm boring. <laughs> <laughs> and how often do you make your own coffee at home? Every day. I have two shots of espresso. <laughs> and do you consider coffee drinking a social activity for you or more of a necessity? Um, a necessity, but it can be turned into a social activity. But I mean, the majority of the time when I'm drinking coffee, it's just I go get it by myself because I need to be awake. And what's your go-to order? Um, just black drip coffee. And how often do you make your own coffee at home? Pretty much every day. And then, do you consider yourself a coffee fanatic? Coffee fanatic? Someone who's just like really crazy about coffee and knows a lot about coffee. Uh, I just drink it out of necessity. Yeah, I'm not into extremely into coffee. I, I don't like go into the wide varieties of coffee. I just drink it sim simple. And uh, would you consider yourself a coffee snob? No. no as long so... as it's coffee, it's, you know, caffeine. <laughs> So, do you care about, you know, high quality coffee, artisanal coffee? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and do you consider coffee drinking a, a social activity or something that's more a necessity? Um, I think it's both. Like, in the morning, like, I make it every morning when I wake up, so that's like a necessity, like, I can't leave my house without it. But it's also like a really good way to like, like, spend time with people and that's like, I spend a lot of time with people drinking coffee as like a social activity. For me, it's a necessity. For most people, it's a social activity. It's you know, I'm still in sleep mode. Today is National Coffee Day. Round of applause. You best fucking believe that I'm celebrating today. No joke, this entire vlog is going to be just what I'm doing to celebrate National Coffee Day. Drink a cup of coffee every day. The number of Americans drinking a cup of coffee daily is the highest it's been in six years. In a society where we are always told we should be more, do more, and always be on the grind, coffee has become not only a routine social activity and a pop culture trend, but also a drug. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. Coffee spread to the Arabian Peninsula, where coffee shops became a place where one could converse with others, play chess, and listen to musicians. Thought to have originated in Ethiopia. Legend has it that a goat herder named Kaldi noticed that his goats couldn't sleep after eating some mysterious berries from an unknown tree. Good. That's all. Yeah. Good. I'm gonna ask you your age, by the way. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you ready? Yes, I'm going. Uh, what? what oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, right. you can't say that ready? in our documentary. Set. You can't say Go. fuck on a documentary. All right. What's your name? Ian. And how old are you? Twenty-nine. And how many Is years that, have you- That's not- Can you not lie? 29 Are you... is the fourth time. <laughs> say your actual age. You consent and you have to be You true. could just say that you're like 50 and we'd believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, you're so bad now. Okay, 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 okay. And so I don't want to like spend all my money on coffee once I get to college. Um, so, you know, it's more economically- it's it's better economically if you aren't addicted to caffeine. Oh my god, I spend so much money on coffee. So, so would you say that you've let this addiction uh, define yourself? Well, no. Actually, my senior adjective is going to be caffeinated. So, <laughs> who looks like a...
like a dumb bitch now. Oh, okay, we're done. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs>